and that is the secret to getting that great sound. What is up? It's your boy Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to a- another video. So today I want to show how you can take the Antelope Audio and connect it directly to the Neve using a DB25 connector. All right. So basically, I want to show how you can use the Orion Studio along with the Neve summing mixer. All right. So let me go ahead and show you how you can hook this bad boy up. So first things first, I'm gonna carefully Turn it around to the rear so we are looking at the back of the units here. And I have it on a towel so I do not scratch my wonderful desk. Shout out to Gear High for making this desk. All right, so basically what you want to do is you're going to be looking at the out of 1 through 8 and then 9 through 16. So right here, these are line outputs. And this is going to correspond to what is in your software control panel of the line outs 1 through 16. So that's gonna correspond right here. For me, it's gonna be one through 16, but for you, it may be 32, it may be 64, depending on what type of interface that you are using. So again, I'm using the Orion Studio, the Rev 2017 version, but the same concept is gonna apply no matter what interface that you're using. So again, I'm, I'm focusing here on eight channels of audio coming out of the Orion Studio into the summing mixer. So let's go ahead and first make that connection. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a DB25 cable. I got this one right here. And it's short enough because my unit, the way I have it set up in my rack here, I'm, si I'm simply connecting it from, you know, the top to the bottom. So, and speaking of top to bottom, that's exactly how we're gonna connect here. We're gonna connect this to the top right here, out one through eight to the line inputs on the summing mixer here. So let me go ahead and Plug this in without scratching up my unit. So make sure that's nice and snug there. So again, what we just did, we have out of the interface one through eight into the line inputs of the summing mixer. Now, you may be asking, well, how am I gonna monitor the audio? How am I gonna hear the audio? I wanna now get the audio back into the Orion Studio. So now that is going into the mixer, we wanna get it back into the studio. So how are we gonna do that? Well. I use something called an XLR cable. Now, this is very important. I, I want you to really pay attention to this right now and may have to rewind the video and watch this portion back if you don't understand, right? So this is the secret here, right? With the Orion Studio, it's gonna say line use quarter jack input only. Now, what did I just tell you? Well, I'm using a XLR cable. So I'm gonna take this XLR cable this is the male, this is the female side. I'm gonna take it, so it's the male out, so that's, it's the output. We're gonna connect the female right to the male, right, made them together. Now, we can plug this right back into here, but the problem is we're gonna have some issues. So this is what we do not want to do. We, we do not want to plug it directly right in here using an XLR cable on this particular unit here. Why? Because it's telling us that we need to use a quarter jack only. And if you don't follow the directions, you're gonna have bad distortion issues. So what is a way that we can now fix this issue? So what I like to do is use something called an XLR adapter right here, right? So basically I can turn this cable into a quarter inch input. So what I wanna do now is connect this right here. Now that's gonna turn this into a line input that we can now then connect right into our unit, and that is the secret to getting that great sound. So again, let's go ahead and recap here. We have the Orion Studio using DB25 cable going right directly into the Summy Mixer. That's gonna be our eight inputs right there, but if you have another cable, you can do the same thing, connect it again. Coming out of the unit, you're gonna have 16 channels. Now you wanna have it going back into the unit, but we're only gonna have two channels going in, right? Because remember, it's a summing mixer. You're doing all your summing into the unit instead of Pro Tools. Summing with analog is gonna give you that wider sound, that bigger sound, that more professional sound in a small home studio. So this is what you wanna do. So I have one and two, and now what we're doing, we're bringing that left and right channel, that stereo input right back into our unit. So now what we can do, we can basically use our control panel, our software and our controls, our control software and route that signal into our DAW. And so I use either Pro Tools or Logic for that, or sometimes I use machine to record. So again, we're taking out DB25 right into the line inputs of the summing mixer, 
and then we're using an XLR cable with an adapter to plug right into our unit. Again, it has to be a quarter inch, otherwise you're gonna have bad distortion issues and that's what we don't want. So again, you wanna make sure you're going in a quarter inch, which is this plug right here, all right? So that is how you connect the Orion Studio to the Neve 5059. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will also leave some links in the description that you can purchase some of these cables, some of these adapters. Um, if you need mixing and mastering, you can go to my website, fizzent.com. Also, watch my other video if you're looking to do this with another interface. It's your boy, Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Hit that thumbs up, and we out.